Okay, this should be the last video. Um, a couple things. This move to is going to 335, but then the draw rectangle, since I didn't change this value to 335, was was messing up. So this move to command is actually not necessary um, because the draw rectangle moves to this value anyway. Uh, this should be 37. Delete this out of here. And let's see what we get. There we go. So there's kind of our concrete barrier there that sort of separates the road from the water now. And now we're going to do this space down here um, as our water. So let's do, um, we'll do a pin up to start with. And then again, we don't need to do a pin down. And then we're going to draw a rectangle. Copy this. We need to change the color. And again, go back to my color picker. I'm going to do some kind of aqua blue. This looks pretty good. Although it would probably be a muddy mess if it were a real city. We're going to make it look like the Caribbean. And then we're going to draw a rectangle at 450. I don't know, 0 for the x. Y is going to be 450. It's going to be all the way down here. And we're going to go up. Uh, width is going to be 320, and the height is going to go to 337. So height is going to be 450 minus 337. And there we have our blue. Now if you want to do that, you can, you know, you can change that to a number, but you can just have it do the math for you if you don't have a calculator you can't do that right off the top of your head um, so there's our blue and then I found just making little uh, arcs like this like the we did the birds um, right here um, and we can randomly make a different colors of of uh, this kind of um, teal aqua color um, we can actually get it looking like waves and looking pretty good so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a for loop to do that. I'm going to draw one to begin with and then come back and draw more. Now, if you forgot how to draw your bird, you just go back to your bird function. And right here, I'm going to copy this. Right here. And I'm going to paste it right here. So I need to do a move to. So I'm just going to move this just kind of in this space. So it's going to be about 20 for the X. And let's do 400 for the Y. It's going to turn to 45. Change. I'm just going to leave it black. We'll do my arc. And it's going to say, like, what is size? It's not going to know what size is. So let's make this um, 10. And there we go. There's a little, little um, wave. I'm going to change my pin width. Let's make this uh, five. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Now let's figure out what our color is going to be. So I want it to be basically anything in this region here. So if I look, so I want my blue value to be like 255 all the way down to 204. So anywhere between 200 and 255 it looks like. And then my green value is going to be very similar to my blue value. So you can see that. And then this is going to be about half. Looks like half of my uh, blue value. So that's how I'm going to treat that in terms of my my color. So I'm going to do var um, random blue. I'm going to do a random number between what did I say? Uh, 200 and 255. What is that? Uh, let's do 150 to 255. I think we can go that dark. I think that'll look good. So we'll do 150 to 255. This is going to be brand blue divided by 2. 
And then these other ones are going to be ran blue. And let's see what we get. Really light. You can see it in there. A little bit darker. Nice. All right. So this looks good. Now let's make a bunch of them. For loop time. Uh, let's do 40 to start with. So now we're going to cut this, paste it. And now our move to here, we want to be random. So we want anywhere from essentially 0 to 320. So random number 0, 320 for our x. And then our y, we're going to do a random number between the 337. So maybe 345 to 450. Let's see what we get here. Okay, that looks good, except um, why don't we see them? Oh, because it draws this rectangle every time and it replaces all of those. Brilliant. So this for loop's in the wrong spot. So we're going to cut this line of code and we want to draw a rectangle and then do our for loop. Now once we do our pin down in our arc we need to do our pin up. So we're going to copy that, paste that so that we move to again. Let's try this. There we go. Good. Now let's do like 400 of these. I like that. Um, let's do 800. Looks good to me. Um, so this is a, I'm pretty happy with this cityscape right now. Let's make another function here. All this draw water. Cut this, paste it in here. Oops. Tabbed it a little too far. I guess it could have control Z that, but this will do. looks good. And then we're going to draw water. So here are all my functions. Just scrolling down and cleaning up some white space right now. And then let's run it. This looks awesome. Um, one thing I did uh, try a little bit earlier which I kind of liked is I'm going to copy this draw skyline and I'm going to paste another one I'm going to show you what that does um, it draws two skylines and gives some of this gives you some depth um, of buildings a little bit see that kind of like now some of them get covered up by the trees which is fine but kind of get a, some layered effect of the buildings which I kind of like that look a little bit I'm going to leave that. Could you also change the background color so it's more at night? 
and you could change the sky color or the water color as a result. You could. You could do a lot of other things um, to this, but in terms of what the project calls for, I think this is fantastic. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more function, and then I'm going to call this um, draw digital scene. And that is going to take all of these and put them all in this singular function. And now I just call one, one main function call at the beginning of my code. And I run it. And it draws my digital scene every time. So this is what I ended up with. Um, again, this took quite a bit of time to kind of go through and explain to you what what is all in there but this is this would be a fantastic project um, again I would not copy this and turn it in that's that's not appropriate um, but can you um, use the skills that you learn by going through this tutorial to create your own digital scene yes and that is my hope that's why I create these videos um, it allows you some more practice I'm going to show you some commenting things here um, that we should put in. So title, and then So I'm going to copy and paste this a little bit more. So I basically have the top. So I like to use um, this type of structure to do some separation of my work. So you can see your main function, it's just draw a digital scene, then function definitions. Um, and then on each one of these, I'm going to give it, um, you know, a little description. So you could just kind of create a block of code for this and then tell what it does.